Joining us, we begin tonight with an update on the local housing market and of course those pesky federal interest rates. At the start of the year, optimism over the economy was high. The Fed hinting at interest rate reductions, which even led to a brief warm up in the housing market. But those reductions never arrived. Cardio 13's Tyler Cunnington is live in Colorado Springs tonight to explain what happened and where we go from here. Tyler. Yeah, Bart Heather, one local economist tells me that you could expect to see a cut to interest rates within the next six to 12 months, but don't expect it to get as low as we might have seen a few years ago coming out of the pandemic. It would, however, be enough to take a sizable chunk out of your monthly mortgage payments. But in the meantime, new data for El Paso County shows its housing market remains stagnant. Between the high baseline prices and higher interest rates, uh, a lot of people are, you know, kind of locked out. Um, of the market or they're locked in because why would they move if their interest rate is at 3% or less? Tatiana Bailey, who runs an economic firm in El Paso County, says the housing market in the Pikes Peak region isn't favorable. Looking at this and saying, wow, this house is kind of expensive. It's not exactly what I want. Oh, and by the way, my payment is 40 or 50% higher because interest rates are really high. I think I'm going to hold. The most recent data shows that in the last two years, there were 1,600 less homes sold in the Pikes Peak region, with those homes that are on the market taking up to 40 days to get sold. It comes as a housing shortage plagues most of the nation and right here in El Paso County. We came up with, um, you know, about 8,000 units short. Bailey says that developers are the best bet to fill the needs created by a lack of existing homes on the market and military families. So what are builders doing? They're responding to the demand and the demand you know, for new homes is, is really quite high. Uh, and that's good news for the builders and they are waiting with bated breath for interest rates to come down. Yeah, Bart Heather Bailey continues to say that any first time home buyers who might need to get into the market this summer should stay on course with saving up and look for assistance such as mortgage buy downs or negotiating with a builder for a lower interest rate in the short term until those eventual permanent cuts may come in the near future. Reporting live in a breezy Colorado <laughs> Springs, Tyler Cunnington, Cardio 13. Yeah, no doubt.